Hi guys, it's Sylvan, and, and welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about a feature that I just found out about, but has been around for more than a year now. So this feature came out in iOS 13, and what it is, is it's the Find My app. And not just the Find My app, the feature that it came with, which is the ability to track your devices, uh, their location, their whereabouts, even when those devices aren't connected to the internet. This is the first video that I will be um, editing on my new iPad, 8th generation, and it's an uh, awesome device. I will be making a video about that, um, a review, but uh, I'm very happy to have this um, now and to be able to use this to create more videos, more content, and really uh, expand how I create these videos and what I do with them um, and how entertaining they are to you guys. So um, if you're excited for this video and every other video that I will be making, um, drop a like and um, back to find my stuff. Uh, let's get into it. So Find My is an app that released with iOS 13. It's the Find My iPhone app and the Find My Friends app um, squashed together into one app, which makes sense because I never really understood why there was two apps. So the Find My app is on your iPhone um, and it lets you see the location of your devices um, if you have it turned on for those devices. It And it lets you see the location of your friends um, who are people who have shared their location with you. So you can't just see the location of anyone. So if you lose your um, your Apple device, then usually, um, like sometimes I'll uh, put my phone down while sitting on the couch, it'll fall into the couch cushions, and so I'll have to play a sound on it. So you can play a sound on your phone. Um, if you left it on the bus, uh, you could go find it. But it is, everyone really, um, up until last year, had to have Wi-Fi connected to that device and or an internet connection meaning Wi-Fi or data so you couldn't just find the device if it was offline but now you can so how this works is that your device it doesn't have to be lost so you don't have to have had um, marked it as lost or stolen this device will send Bluetooth um, signals to other Apple devices around so this is called the find my network that's what Apple calls it so it'll send a Bluetooth signal to Apple devices nearby so this is between like 30 and something feet like uh, it'll send Bluetooth signals to those devices nearby and if those devices are also connected to the internet um, through via uh, Wi-Fi or cellular um, it will send you will use that device's internet connection to send the location, the approximate location, so not exactly, but like the approximate location, like the street corner or the building that device is in to the um, to iCloud through using that device's that it, and those people are called the finders, those phones that the device connects to. So that's what I'm just gonna call them. So the device that is lost will use the finder's device, um, the finder's device's uh, internet connection to send um, its location to the cloud and then next time you log on to iCloud.com to find your phone or on a different device to find your phone, um, it'll be there. So even if, like it's doing this constantly, even if um, it's not lost. Samsung copied and did their own thing with that, um, with their new uh, smart tags, the Galaxy smart tags, they have their own um, Samsung finding network thing. So it seems like using this community of devices is getting more popular. And if it helps you find your phone, that's great. But what's the security effects and effects in general on the finder's device and your own? Because your device is connecting to another person's phone without their knowledge. Well, it's not that bad, okay? Um, it may sound creepy, it may sound like another thing that's tracking you, but it's not. Um, so your device is sending um, is sending information to the other device to use that, um, that connection to the internet, but it's not sending um, 
is not so your device is sending a signal to the other device to use its internet connection but nothing from your device is being stored on that device that means that your device is di right directly just using that connection to piggyback off of to get that its information to the cloud not to the other person's device so like that way they don't have your information and for their device in terms of performance and battery life you wouldn't notice a thing actually you don't so um it's interesting to think about that this is happening to you all the time your device it might be always or not always but a lot of the times be used as a finder device to find someone else's phone that they might have lost or that they didn't lose and aren't checking iCloud for but it just isn't connected to the internet it's being used all the time and you would never know you would never know the difference unless you uh, watch this video then you will know that that's happening but you'll never see a difference there won't be any significant battery drain or decreases in performance so to enable this go to settings and then go to Apple ID so it's that uh, box at the top right here um, and then go down to find my and then press on find my iPhone press on join find my network and so that will turn this on so that if your device is ever not connected to the internet but it's around other Apple devices you will be able to see the approximate location of that device I know you guys are watching this and probably like okay Sylvan but like how do we know if this actually works? You know, like maybe it's a, something that Apple's lying to us or maybe um, it just doesn't work. Well, I tested it and so I know it works, but in order to show you guys that it works, um, I'll show you guys right now. As you can see right here, my iPad isn't connected to the internet, um, but in this, um, in my phone right here, you can see that it is showing that it is now. Um, so it says now, right uh, right somewhere over there um, it says now and then it shows the location of the iPad um, now you'll notice when devices do that they will have a black screen um, but they will say now on it so instead of last received location it will say that this is here right now and the way you like I said the way you can tell is if it has a black screen on it and it says now that that you know that it is using Bluetooth to show you the location all right guys, um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something new, uh, cause I definitely did while researching for it. Um, I hope you find this useful and um, cause this has a lot of real world applications. Um, there's there's a bus go by, you could hear it. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to make more videos. Um, I've been making like one a week um, just because there's, I have school and a lot of things going on, but I always enjoy making these and I like editing them and everything. So, uh, subscribe if you like them too. Uh, like this video if you like this one. If you really didn't like this video, then I guess dislike it. If you want to be among the first people to see a new video, uh, press the bell icon and turn on all notifications. Alright, so I think that's it for today. Um, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs>